This is Chang. I'm back at the fair, and today I have with me Jason and Belinda. Uh, tell me about yourself. Or, Absolutely. Yeah, tell me about yourself. Actually, my name is Jason Lee. I'm currently a junior in uh, Elliott House, and I'm actually originally from Chicago. Something I really love to do is sing Billy Joel to myself, but that's a first story for another time. It doesn't have to be if you want to. Okay, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Hi, my name is Belinda. I'm a junior in FOHO. I study history of science. I'm from the Bay Area. And uh, yes, a fun fact about me is I'm on the golf team at Harvard. Very cool. Excellent. Um, so can you tell me about your project? Absolutely. So Belinda and I were really interested in skincare. And in short, our website allows you to search through a massive database about skincare products, leave a review, share it with your friends, and interact in any way you like. Yeah, let's yeah. take a quick look. And so basically we're on our browse page right here and you can scroll down and we have a drop down menu of every product in this database and uh -huh. so there's a lot. Um, but what you can do is just click on, for example, this product and search it up in our browse page and it will take you to an information page when it loads of information about the product like ingredients, um, name, brand, and any reviews that anyone has left. And as you can see, it's been saved 11 times, so a lot of people really like this product. And if we really like it, we can save it as well into our account, and it'll show up on our favorites page. Cool. Um, where is the data coming from? Absolutely. So we looked online for our online database, and there's actually an API from Laura Robinson, and okay. it's actually linked here, and so that if you click here, it'll actually go to where the raw data set. Oh, very cool. Um, and so here you can see that, oh, we can actually share a box with our friends, so let's go and make some friends. Okay. And so we can search through the entire uh, website and look at all the users, and we can be friends. Well, I'd like to be friends with David Malin, um, <laughs> and so we can add friends with him. And then if we scroll down later, we can see, oh, we're friended. Excellent. Mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately, the background take a little while to load. No worries. Uh, but we can imagine, well, now that we have this product, let's actually share it with David Malin. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Let me pick one that I think actually, you'll need. What, what, uh, I see. <laughs> Daily cleansing, if you want to share with David. Yeah. Great. And so when I see, so when David logs in, he'll see this shared from friend and yeah. his favorite. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Very cool. Um, and then the last thing that you can do is you can leave a review for products that you shared into your favorites. And so, like, say we really like this cleansing foam, we can just say it was like awesome. Oh. oh. <laughs> and then you can submit it. And so when someone browses for it again, that review will show up. Cool. Yeah. Um, seems like there's a lot going on. So can you tell me about the technologies that made up this website? Absolutely. So in short, the languages that we use ultimately uh, was a combination of Python, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, um, and also a lot of SQL. Yeah. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Yeah. Um, yeah. And so have either of you had um, CS experience before? Personally, I have not. This is my first semester, actually my first CS course. Wow. This is also my first CS course, too. This is a very impressive website for a first Thank CS you. course. Yeah. Thank you. Um, what made you two interested in taking CS50? Uh, so for me personally, it's twofold. One, I've always been interested in solving interesting problems using programming. And secondly, I do need this course to graduate. <laughs> and so let's be honest, that's a pretty important factor. Uh -huh. But again, building products like these is really interesting. And so overall, I'm pretty satisfied with the experience. Um, I never coded before, and so I knew I wanted to take a CS course before I graduated. And I think this past summer got me a lot more interested in tech, and so um, I just wanted to learn how to code. Well, would you recommend CS50 to people considering it? Absolutely. Yeah, I think it's a fun challenge. Perfect. That's great to hear. Yeah. Thanks Thank for you. your time. Thank you. Thank you. Yep.